Hello, my name is John Meyer, and I'm back with another video about sampling a piano. If this is your first time here, or you've been around for a while, if you would, please consider subscribing. That'll help me out, and you'll be notified when new samples and new videos are available. The response to the samples that I've made has been absolutely incredible. Recently, with my Kawhi Felt piano, the Bedroom Producers blog wrote a little story about it and shared it. And that was picked up by other blogs all over the world. And because of that, thousands of people have downloaded the sounds from my site. And also Piano Book, many of you have found your way over here from there and you've downloaded it from that side. I knew that once I sampled the piano in my studio, the next obvious step would be to sample the Steinway at MediaTek Institute. I taught a music production class at MediaTek for almost five years. And every free moment I had was spent sitting at this piano. My friend Wes Martin is currently an instructor at MediaTek. So I gave him a call and we set up a time to sample the piano. And we also use it as a time to demonstrate to his students various piano miking techniques. I invited my friend Jordan Moore along to capture the day. Like myself, he's dealing with his midlife crisis by buying cameras and lenses. He's more focusing on the photography side of things. We started off by removing the lid of the piano and repositioning it in the center of the room. It's a small space, so I wanted to get it away from the walls where there were some weird reflections. I wanted to be able to get around the piano so I could set the mics where I wanted them to be. Because the room was small and I had a limited amount of time in the studio, that helped me zone in on the type of sound that I wanted to get that day. I knew that I couldn't get a big room sound because the room wasn't big, and so I focused on close miking. And I knew that I didn't want to get a super loud, aggressive sound because that piano can be somewhat edgy. And I thought I would focus my energy on the quieter dynamic layers. Quiet's a medium. It's certainly not quiet. You can dig into it. But I wanted to make sure that I captured the essence of the piano when it was played moderate to quiet. I brought along my trusty microphones, the same ones I used for my Kawhi felt piano. I placed the Coles 4038s close to the hammers and spread out wide in an attempt to somewhat try and capture the stereo image that I get when I'm sitting at the piano. With my U47 clones, I wanted to get slightly away from the piano and also separate the low frequencies from the high frequencies as best I could. I placed my KM84s in the middle in an XY pattern. However, halfway through the recording process, we lost one of the mics. So I only ended up using one of them and I don't even know which one it was, to be honest with you. But the goal there was to kind of capture that mid-range of the piano, one centered focused point. MediaTek has this beautiful old SSL console. I don't know my way around a console as well as I should. I'm used to microphone, preamp, converter, computer. But we got some great sounds out of the board. There were other preamps at our disposal, but time was limited, so we went with the pre's that were in the SSL. Now at this point, I was tired and ready to quit, but it was now time to actually sample the piano. So I start at C0 following Christian Henson's template, working my way up fifths up the keyboard. I tried to get as many velocity layers as I could and as many round robins or um, alternate takes of each note. I did find at the end of it that I wish that I would have spent less time worrying about round robins and more time possibly sampling in thirds or maybe even closer interval, intervals. With my Kawhi Felt piano, I noticed that every time I hit the key, it reacted different, it hit the felts different, the hammers sounded different. But with the Steinway, there was a more consistent sound. If I hit the velocity the same, it sounded somewhat the same. So it could have been a better use of my resources and time to try and sample different notes as opposed to the same note multiple times. Eventually, I might rework this sample so that you all have individual control over the microphone levels. I know many of you have asked for that on the Kawhi, but it's a bit more of a challenge for me. And I wanted to create a, a mix that would fit the vibe that I would go to most often. So with this, I wanted to adjust the levels of the microphones to get as soft and mellow and dark of a sound as I could. I found that I split the sound between the U47 and the Cole, slightly more the U47 and I ended up using very little of the mid-range KM84 sound. There are some louder dynamics in the sample, but really it shines in the low to mid. So you can go in and get into the guts of this thing and cut those loud samples out, or you can just lower your velocity levels. 
after you play the part. You can also adjust this velocity slider inside contact, which will bring up the quieter samples as you play if that's the vibe that you want to go for. You can also adjust the volume of the release triggers. Click on the wrench, go to the groups, hit release triggers, and then there's a volume down in the middle where you can lower or raise those. That's a personal taste that we all have, and so this is where you can make that adjustment. This is absolutely not a one-size-fits-all piano sample. It's gonna sound really good in certain situations and not great in others, but that's the beauty of sampling. You never really know what you're gonna get, and then you might get something that's unique. So if you're able to use this for something in a film score or a track that you write, please, please share with me. I love hearing that type of thing. It makes me so happy to know that these sounds are being used all over the place. You all have inspired me so much, and I hope that the sounds that I'm making in this piano will inspire you to create really great things. So stay safe, and let's all get back to work, and I'll see you next time.